<laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to Left Gaming. So after our short nap from last episode, Tom Nook has called us. And now the uh the game has synced with our actual time at 11 p.m. now. <laughs> oh, there you are. Hope you had a pleasant nap. Or, right, well, I suppose it was a bit more than a nap, wasn't it? It's a brand new day. I slept that long? It was not that long. Anyways. Oh, ho, ho. yes. Quite normal to be worn out after such a long trip and major life event. Speaking of which, I have a few more things that might, you might find useful as you adjust to life in our little paradise. First, you'll need one of these, yes? It's your very own Nook phone. I have this made specially for our island residents. Ah, I want to make sure it's working right, so could you try turning it on for me, hmm? Okay, welcome. Good, good. Looks like you're getting good reception as well. Okay, feel free to put it away now. Say evil laugh. Have you ever used a smartphone before? Sure have. Very good. Then this should be a breeze for you. In fact, those new phones are rather are rather easier to operate than ordinary phones. Oh yes. We simply removed most of the feature at oh. all. I have one more thing for you. And what's this? It's your itemized bill. What? So this includes everything. Airfare, accommodations, labor, tax, and of course your note phone. Hmm? Bring your grand total to the modest sum of... 49,800 bells! Uh... What are bells? Oh, 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 good one, Evil Laugh. Wait, you're being serious? Yes, of course. I can't believe I did think of this. Well, bells are a currency that can be used in exchange for goods and services here on Laughter. Ah, but there's still the problem that you don't actually have any. Yes, of course. Well, no need to worry. I was prepared exactly for this type of tricky situation. For the getaway package, you can pay your fees with miles instead of the standard bells. I call this extremely helpful service the Nook Mileage Program. What's that? Well, it's quite extraordinary, if I do say so myself. With the Nook Mileage Program, you can earn miles simply by living your life here on Laughter. I dare say, the more you enjoy your island life, the more Nook Miles you can earn. And you can use them to pay back your moving fees and much, much more. So the bottom line is you need 49,800 bills to pay your moving fees. But with this new service, would you believe it? It only comes to 5,000 miles. I'll just uh, go ahead and register you so you can pay in miles. Yes, yes, but there are more details available within your Nook phone. Just open the Nook Miles app and you'll see that you've earned some miles just for traveling to the island and joining the program. Now, if you excuse me, I must get back to a few other matters. But let me heartily congratulate you once again on your arrival. I'm so happy to have you as a resident of Laughter and a client of Nook Incorporated. Thanks, bro. <laughs> okay. My new life is underway. I can do whatever I want. Woohoo! From now on, island time will match the flow of time in the real world. Do not touch the power button when you see the auto save indicator in the top right screen. You can also save and quit your game by pressing minus. Excellent. So as you can see, it is 11.13. We're doing this anyways. Ah, oh, dear Lord, thank you for downloading the updates. Uh-huh, sure. And dear Nintendo, do -do -do, congratulations, your big move. Hope you enjoy. Okay. What did they give us? Present open. We got a simple DIY workbench and Nintendo Switch. Ooh. Let's uh, throw that in our tent, yeah? Our glorious, glorious tent. Okay. Place it. Bam. Okay. And 
Let's just throw uh... Ooh. Is this a DIY recipe? I wonder how I can memorize it. I don't have the... Ugh. Okay. That's fine. Well, since we're here, let's go ahead and explore our island a little bit, yeah? We got all of the cherry trees. I don't think we have a way to sell those quite yet. What do we have over here? Aha. Ah, Evil Lab, welcome, welcome. As you can see, it's quite cozy in here. It's funny how cozy doesn't always mean comfortable. Hmm? Let me know if you need advice on how to spend your time on this island or anything else. If you need some advice about basic island materials, you should talk to Timmy. He can help you procure some of the essentials for thriving on our little paradise. And if you want to learn, earn some bells, he has a rather generous policy of purchasing just about anything. Not strictly advisable from a business perspective, but quite generous. Yes, yes. Oh, one more important thing. I'm offering a free DIY workshop that can help you really build out your island experience. I think it would be quite useful, so I do hope you take me up on it. Hmm? Awesome. Oh, how oh, can I forget? Hmm. I should give you a brief explanation about that terminal. That is our nook shop. Stop. It's a terminal for services that will further enhance your island life. At the moment, you can use two services, you will have. First is nook shopping. It's a catalog shop service for items that can be hard to find on an island. Second, the terminal serves as an automatic bell dispenser, or ADB, for the bank of nook. <laughs> We're also working on a service by which you'll be able to redeem Nook Miles for various things. Please take advantage of these wonderful services. Quite beneficial indeed. Yes, yes. Welcome to Nook Stop, a multimedia terminal from Nook Incorporated. Once per day, accessing the Nook Stop will award you a bonus in daily miles of 50 miles. Ooh. Please select from the following services. Uh, Nook Shopping. Why not? Hmm. Cool. Can't afford anything, but you know, whatever. No, I'm good. Thank you for your patronage. Okay, what do we have here? Ah, I see you discovered my DIY bag, workbench. Yes, yes. The DIY workbench. Each participant will make a keep of their own tools and receive a set of DIY recipes. I think it's quite useful for island life. Hmm? So shall we put you down for the next available session? I'd love to. Yes, yes. That's the island spirit. I happen to be free right this very moment. So let's get started. Welcome to my DIY workshop. Oh, I suppose workshop is overselling it a bit. Hmm? When you see how simple it is to DIY or do it yourself, you'll understand what I mean. The basic idea is to gather materials, follow a recipe, then craft using the workbench like this one. So today we'll be constructing a fishing rod using common materials that you find else anywhere. Yes, for this particular recipe, we require a mere five tree branches. It is admittedly a little flimsy. Now then, come see me once you've collected the materials, hmm? Okay, well, what do you got to say? Oh, Evil Lab, it's great to see you. That campfire was lots of fun. We're here all night, so feel free to stop by if you need to talk about anything island related. Also, I'll be out and about during the day, checking in with everyone, seeing how folks are doing. If you're ever unsure about what you should do, don't hesitate to stop for a chat. Okay. Ah, welcome, welcome. You don't waste any time, do you? A hole. We're still setting up for starters, but we intend to offer a small selection of goods for our island residents. Space is limited right now, but we'll try to have some fresh stock each and every day. I'm sure you're busy, but feel free to take a look at some of the items we're thinking of selling. I'll take a look. Great. Oil barrel. And a toolbox. <laughs> and catch your eye? We're not just sellers, we're also buying things from you, including stuff gathered on the island. And because we want to support efforts to beautify the island, we'll even pay you a little bit in return for any weeds or trash you bring in. If you want to know whether we'll buy something, just ask. 
Sounds good to me. Well, let's get those five branches so we can get a fishing pole. Maybe do some night fishing. See, this guy's already fishing. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna do all this. I'll do a ton of weed picking like off camera. Right now, we just want those tree branches. So that way we can fish. Can I make it around this river? <gasps> Am I trapped inside this little area? Because I don't have a way, a bridge yet. <laughs> That's not cool. Are we really gonna have to shake trees for uh Alright, well. There we go. What is that five? Eight. Cool. We got enough. on the necessary materials, hmm? Well then, let's get started on crafting that fishing rod. Yes, yes. So we can just select a project from the workbench and get started. Go ahead and give it a try. Okay. Uh, flimsy fishing rod. Craftable. Let's do it. Ta-da! I made a flimsy fishing rod. Yes, that was perfect. As you can see, crafting is quite simple, provided you have the correct recipes. Hmm? And that concludes my free DIY workshop. Oh, there's just one last thing. I have a few common DIY recipes for you, free of charge, naturally. I'll just need to send them to your Nook phone. Would you mind opening it up? Ta-da! Okay. DIY recipes. Splendid, thank you. The DIY app is now installed on your phone and ready for you to use anytime. And the flimsy fishing rod you just crafted is yours to keep. It may not last forever, but it should serve you for a little while at least. Speaking of fishing, I am no master angler, but perhaps I can give you a few tips, hmm? In my experience, you should aim in front of the shadow of a fish when you cast your line, yes, yes. I would love to see anything you manage to catch. I'm quite curious about the local fauna. Okay. Well, I guess we should go try and fish. <laughs> nope. Wait, why? Why does it bring the talk menu up? For R. Hmm. Old. Aha. I don't see any fish. Hmm. Oh, there's one. Got you. Yes. Caught a crucian carp. My skills are sharp. <laughs> oh the Oh the game quotes. Laugh. Hello, hello. What do you like to talk to me about? I'm all ears. Uh, not a creature. Oh, splendid. Let's have a look, shall we? Oh, what a catch. I do believe this is a crucian carp. Hmm. If this island can support a crucian carp. Why, who knows what other fantastic creatures we might find living here? 
He will laugh. I have an idea. An old friend of mine runs a museum, and I'd love to send it to him for a closer look. Would you be okay with that? Yes. Thank you. I promise that I'll take extra good care of your cruciate carp. Oh, that reminds me. This is in no way tied to your generous donation just now, but I have a useful app to show you. Oh. Critterpedia. I sent you the Critterpedia app. It's a terrific resource for an aspiring avid researcher such as yourself. With this one app, you'll get all the important details about bugs and fish you catch. Yes, yes. I do hope you continue to fill it up with your discoveries and share them with me too. I'm sure I'll be able to come up with some kind of additional reward. Hmm. Okay. Excellent. Um. Okay, so back to exploring our little what we can see, anyways, since uh. As of right now, we just don't have a way over this little river. Hmm. You know what? I'm curious. Um. Where is DIY recipes? You can register frequently crafted items as your favorites. Okay. Campfire flimsy net. We do not have a way to make a shovel or an axe yet. Okay. Hmm. Well. Let's go talk to, uh, let's go talk to them one more time. Just to... Just to see if there's anything else they can do for us. Okay. Ah, evil lap. Hello, hello. What would you like to talk to me about? I'm all ears. What should I do? Yes, yes, that is the question. Well, this island is a diverse habitat for many interesting creatures, you know. Other than us, oh, yes, yes. You can catch all kinds of insects and fish. You practice with your net and fishing rod. I'd be most curious to see any creatures that you catch. Hmm, by all means, bring them to me. All right, so I'm pretty sure that means we need to catch a few more things so we can get the, uh, the, uh, the museum guy to want to be here. I made a flimsy net. Well, we're all done now. I didn't see any bugs yet, though. But there was that fish shadow to the right. Come on, fishy fishy. Oops. All right, I messed that one up. Oh, what's ahead of the neighbor? Wonder what kind of fish we're going to meet today. I hope they're nice. One more. Perfect fishing weather. Time to catch a few fishies, Sparky. All right, moving on. Oh, you're, you're going that way. Here we go. Ah! I'm not good at fishing right now. Yo, I'm pumped about, about, but I'm pumped about that spot you helped pick out for my tent. Thanks for the push. I hope we can keep looking out for each other like this. Let's get that buddies, little bear. 
Oh, right. I got something here for you, little bird. Thanks again for finding a place for my place. <laughs> oh, hey, we get a hat. That tulip hat is perfect for laughter. You can try it on by pressing X to open your pocket and pressing A to select the item when you want. Choose where if you want to put it on. You can always change it later. You need to work out, little bear. Okay. Oh, I see a fish. Okay, we're gonna get it this time. All right, that was the wrong angle. Let's try that again. Ah. All right, here we go. All right. We're gonna get... Nope. Maybe. Yeah. And get it. There we go. Caught a freshwater gooby. Time to say bye bye. Okay. There we go. All right, yes. Caught a horse mackerel. Of course, mackerel. <laughs> uh, good times. All right, Mr. Nook, let's give you these fish so we can get that museum guy to show up. Ah, you laugh. Hello, hello. What would you like to talk to me about? I'm all ears. Found a creature. Oh, splendid. Let me have a look, shall we? Oh, what a catch. I do believe this is a freshwater goby. You mind if I sent this magnificent creature along to my museum curating friend as well? Yes. Thank you. I promise that I'll take extra good care of your freshwater goby. Well, by the way, have you been taking advantage of my DIY workbench lately? I have. That's great. Come to think of it, I have seen you over tinkering, blah, 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 tinkering a bit over there. Keep up the good work. That reminds me, I've been meaning to share more DIY recipes with you. Mind turning on your phone? Oh, please give me this shovel and the axe. I'm going to send you a number of DIY recipes that require wood along with... Yes! Yes, yes. I think an axe would come in quite, ha quite useful on this island. Because so many other things are made of wood, hmm? I hope you'll keep bringing me new discoveries to examine. It's all part of the island experience, yes, yes. Okay. Got you. Oh, another creature. Well, let's have a look at this one then. Boom. Oh, what a catch. I do believe this is a horse mackerel. Would you mind if I send it to me? Yes. Send it along. Thank you. I promise I will take extra good care of the horse mackerel. By the way, I have a proper reward, blah, 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 reward for you this time. I can't speak anymore. I've given you a red windflower bag. It's just a sampling of a product we sell. Go ahead, do some planting, and after a few days, you'll have a beautiful blooming flowers. Anyways, give it a whirl. And if you enjoy gardening, stop by and buy more. Okay. Excellent. So, let's see what our new uh, things we can build are. Yes, let's craft. All right, so there's the axe. Flimsy axe, okay. Bonfire. Tiki Torch is new. Log stakes are new. And the birdhouse is new. Okay. Nice.
<laughs> shake the tree, shake the tree. No, nothing from that one. Forty-two thousand more of those. <laughs> hmm. There we go. Okay, is that five? Six, perfect. We're going to craft something. Let us craft the glorious axe. Let's do it. Ta da! I made a flimsy axe. Oh, we're all done for now. Because now we can chop down some trees and hopefully make an actual. Like a shovel, so we can replant cherry trees after we're done chopping them down. Anyways. Let us call that here for this episode. Because it is... 11.30 at night on the day of release. <laughs> And yeah, we've had a lot of fun with this. So any, if you have any suggestions on stuff we should do and build and how the island should look in the future, go ahead and leave those in the comment section and we will see you next time.